Hey, what's up? It's Infernal Toast here with another Tokens with Toast, and I just wanted to touch on something real quick. Um, this token called WBTC. This is actually a good one to do after um, the Oyster Pearl token because the contract, the smart contract, is actually completely identical. Let that sink in for a second, but a lot of people have some misconceptions about what this actually is and I'm just gonna kinda clear the water to protect people because a lot of people think that it's trustless or that it's um I guess you're able to trust it but you're not you're really not it's completely trustful it's an IOU um and you have to trust that it's not gonna be hacked by someone you have to trust that someone in the organization that controls it is not gonna steal all your money and it's basically goes against every core tenant of Bitcoin. Um, and I'm going to explain exactly why that is and break it down to the very line of code um, to show you, uh, you know, why I'm making these statements. It's to protect you. Okay. So they say, you know, do more with your Bitcoin. You can basically bring Bitcoin in as an ERC-20 token. That's, um, that's true. A centralized uh, organization is bringing in, uh, you know, basically a Tether version of Bitcoin. It's exactly like Tether um, as an ERC-20 token. But the way that they're doing it is horrible. It's literally the worst way you could ever do this. I could ever conceptually imagine in my tiny brain. Um, so, let, let, so let me just uh, break this down for you. So I've got the contract. Here we go. The contract 0x2260. And so I want to scroll down to the code, and we'll see um, WBTC, again, address 0 2, 0x2260 on Etherscan. So let's just take a look at this uh, contract real quick. I'm going to blow it up really big here. Hopefully this works. Yeah, that wasn't as big as I expected, but it's okay. Actually, let me just do that for you guys. Still a little hard to see. Yeah, that's better. That's as good as it's going to get. Okay, so uh, let's just look here. So we got safe math. That's fine. Standard token is ERC20 basic token. Okay. Um, let's see what they're doing here. Some approval, increase, decrease. Ownable. Okay, this is so key. So someone owns this contract. So that means that the deployer of the contract, um, their... Their, their message out sender, and so their address is stored as this owner variable right here. Okay, and so then whenever a function says only owner, only they can call that function. All right, remember that. And they can transfer the ownership to somebody else. Okay, so now we're going we're gonna to keep going. This is the real contract. This is the actual WBTC contract contract that um, is like the root contract, I guess you could say. That's how Solidity works. And so it, it, it inherits standard token, which inherits the ERC-20 token, and it also inherits ownable. So again, it's ownable. So whoever deployed this is the owner variable. Okay, so, and there's a minting finished value, which is false. And it's still false, even, even right now. And actually, um, we can verify that. Um, if you're familiar, if you remember the Oyster contract, it's exactly the same. So what that basically means is they can they can at some point in the future set this to true, which means they'll never be able to mint more and burn more, uh, you know, infinitely. But right now they never did that yet, so um, they can basically mint more and burn more at any time for any reason, any time, any reason they can mint and burn these tokens. Um, and uh, yeah, and they're never gonna make that true. Because the entire purpose of the contract is that they can mint and burn tokens at any time. Obviously. Because what they do is, I guess let me explain this, what they do is they basically move Bitcoin, real Bitcoin, into one of their Bitcoin addresses they control that is like, that they basically sanction as being in a, you know, quote unquote vault or something. It's not actually locked up or anything. There's no actual you know, hashing locks or time locks or anything like that. It's just in a regular old Bitcoin account they control. And then when it's there, let's say they move 10 Bitcoin in, then 
they will, you know, someone will, maybe it's a conglomerate of a couple people, but anyway, one private key will, boom, mint 10 of these tokens on the smart contract, and there's no link at all between the Bitcoin chain and the Ethereum chain. There's no link. The only link is a one human that's making the decision centralized in a centralized way to do that. Do you guys see any problem with that at all? Let's continue. So, um, mint, finish minting, burnable token. This is literally just a copy paste of an open Zeppelin burn mint contract, which is literally line for line the same as Oyster token. There, and that, oh, and let me give you a little history lesson on Oyster token. The rogue secret developer, Bruno, who was, an, was the owner for that, at one time called the mint function, minted like, you know, hundreds of thousands of tokens and then dumped them all on an exchange for Bitcoin and then um, extracted the actual Bitcoin and ran away and no one knew who he was still. And so we have no idea who he was. He was never apprehended. So what I'm saying is this contract and the idea of WBTC is engineered so poorly that if you hold WBTC token, then you really just hold an IOU and one guy or one person or one hacker, if they have that private key, can mint infinite WBTC, dump it all on exchange for real coin, like Ether or Bitcoin, and then run away and gone. Boom, gone. Now your tokens are debased and worthless. Your WBTC would be debased and worthless. Okay? Exactly like Oyster was. So think about that. This is not trustless currency. This is not this is an IOU. This is literally exactly like Tether and exact the opposite of Bitcoin. This is not controlling your own private keys. WBDC is not controlling your own private keys. It's not controlling your money. You are trusting a bank with your money, and it's not even a reputable bank. It's literally a random team. It's, it's like it's like Kyber, but I, I don't I don't know who that is. It's not actually a registered you know a corporation that's been around for more than three four years. It's I don't know. For all we know, it could be someone in their mom's basement. I, I, I'm not. I don't trust this. I don't trust this at all. It's it's not. Um, it's not uh, a good idea. Even if, even if they, which they are doing, they're put, they're saying, oh, here's the Bitcoin on the on the main bank Bitcoin chain, and here's the tokens on our chain. You know, here you can line them up. Even if you can line it up and verify that you know there's Bitcoin there that's backing this WBTC, there is nothing that proves or nothing that is guarding against someone for, who has the private key that's the owner to this smart contract from minting 10 million WBTC in what right now today tomorrow the next day there's nothing that guarantees that at all and tr you know putting all of that in on a line based on one private key based on one number is a horrible horrible idea terrible idea you i mean who knows maybe someone in you know maybe someone secretly conspired in the company and wrote down the key or maybe um you know maybe there's a falling out between the team and someone secretly gets finds the key and then they keep it and they and they and they put it in their stock drawer for a year and then a year later boom black swan event and no one can stop it no one can prove it there's it's absolutely irresponsible it's absolutely um, you know, it, it's, it's deception. It's horrible. You need to tell these, you need to tell the Ethereum community what you're actually doing when you do this. This is unacceptable. Okay. Um, this is, um, this is, this is, uh, this is part of the reason why, um, I don't know. I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed. I'm disappointed in a lot of Ethereum projects, but I'm very disappointed in WBTC. Okay. That's that's what I wanted to say, and I hope I hope you all um, need to take this, uh, you know, and do your research. But cryptocurrency is trustless. Why is it trustless? Because you can't trust anyone on the internet. You can't. I don't trust. I don't trust random people on the internet. If you do, then you can use WBTC. But I am not going to do that.